Hello, I'm Rob with the Bee. Welcome back to my house where we're getting ready for a, a braai or a barbie. You yeah, mate, no worries. Last time I spoke about different positions for the hand drill method of fire making. And today we're going to discuss the advantages of something I call the African hand drill. And I'd better be quick because the guests are arriving soon. I could say the same thing. Okay, so we're back. Last time we were talking about teamwork. Now with the hand drill, having someone to help you makes things a lot easier. If you can take turns with the drilling, it helps you to get your breath back between bouts of rapid drilling. And uh, in Africa you'll often see two or even three guys collaborating like this. But you don't even need someone who's proficient at the technique. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to enlist the help of my charming assistant, Roberta. If you can find someone to hold the baseboard for you, it frees up your feet, allowing for a more upright stance. Kneeling works pretty well. Of course, if you can actually stand, that gives you a chance to really get your weight behind it. And because you're directly above, you have a, a much better view of the action, as it were. So yeah, teamwork helps. Thank you, Dale. Pleasure. Um, you, you, you can go now. You're so rude. That's the last time I'm getting down on my hands and knees for you. The next thing you need is some sort of natural sense of rhythm. What I sometimes like to call the Oonga Boonga. Horny Hammerkop has it. Like with one of those marching songs, um, succumbing to the rhythm allows you to detach yourself from the obsessive focus on the goal and just get into the zone. And this will help you keep going until the job's done because sometimes it can take a lot longer than you expected. But the most important thing you need to perform the so-called African hand drill is a big stick. A thick shaft allows you to build up more friction along the circumference where it's in contact with the hole. And this is especially true if you have a, a bulbous tip, the part that's actually doing the work. And then the length just allows you a lot more options in, in terms of different positions. So yeah, it is possible to get a fire going with a, a really small stick. But having a big one just makes life a lot easier. Mine is about four foot long. Um, it used to be longer, but I've, I've worn it away a little bit over the years. It's not very pretty, to be honest. Uh, it's not even straight. As you can see, it's got a bit of a bit of a curve to it. It's got some lumps and bumps and different colours, but it gets the job done, and that's the main thing. Uh, if you want to take a closer look, you can see that it's hollow in the middle there. Um, this one's seen a lot of action. Anyway, that's uh, enough talk about my shaft. Um, let's talk about friction. You know that it would be untrue You know that I would be a liar If I was to say to you Girl, we couldn't get my time 